Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Carmina and today our video is a little bit different for this channel. You know, we usually talk about astrology, cards of truth, human design, but sometimes we also talk about back flowers and other esoteric things. And uh, today I wanted to introduce you to the passion that grabbed me last year in 2020 and that passion is gemstones, crystals, semi-precious stones and uh, I have amassed quite a collection I'll show you guys little by little but I wanted to start off this crystal journey on this channel with lemon cristofras that I'm wearing right now as a necklace you can see these little beads it looks like marzipan or vanilla ice cream or something very glazed or something very porcelain but that's how it is it's not dyed it's not anything that's just uh, the natural lemon or citron chrysopras and uh, the interesting thing about this lemon chrysopras is although it's called chrysopras it's actually magnesite but for decades and decades it's been bearing this name on geology.com it says this opaque material is usually called citron chrysopras or lemon chrysopras because of its citrus color. A better name for this material would be lemon magnesite or citron magnesite. Unfortunately, the chrysopras name has been used for this material worldwide for a few decades. Extracting it from the language of the lapidary trade would probably be impossible or would take generations. In fact, lemon magnesite and chrysopras often occur in the same fractures and nodules. Nodules can have a chrysopras core overgrown by magnesite or a magnesite core overgrown by chrysopras. For me, the first thing when I see lemon chrysopras is joy. It's such a happy stone. It looks like a little bead of porcelain and it just makes me smile. It makes me happy. Crystals, gemstones, semi-precious stones are used for making jewelry, they're used for decorating, but they're also used because um, of a connection you can feel with that stone or with that crystal, and they're also used to help alleviate some conditions. There, there's a lot of literature, a lot of books, a lot of internet articles on what each crystal is good for. So keeping that in mind, you can also see for yourself, like how does it feel? Spend some time wearing or holding to a gemstone or a crystal and see what energy you feel. Because this is magnesite, it means it's made of magnesium. Magnesium is a mineral and um, this mineral, of course, is also present in our bodies and it has a special balance and a special purpose in our bodies. I'm not gonna tell you to eat <laughs> magnesite, no. This is one of the senses that we have that we intuitively know what we need. So for instance, if you're attracted to magnesite, then maybe your body needs some magnesium. Maybe the magnesium in your body is not sufficiently absorbed or it's not balanced. So of course you can see about eating magnesium rich foods and taking magnesium supplements but i think this is also helpful at least as a reminder people seek out magnesite lemon magnesite aka lemon or citron chrysophras when they want to balance their emotional moods because magnesium is an element that helps balance your emotional moods it can also help if you have insomnia, it can also it is also said to speed the healing of wounds. Other uses for magnesite are renewal. When you want to renew something, when there is a change coming and there is a point for renewal, and that's why this stone for me is the stone for 2021 because it's a yellow greenish stone. Uh, it's also said to help with prosperity and abundance because we know that other yellow or green stones like um, citrine or aventurine are classically used for prosperity 
if I were to associate it with a card in the Cards of Truth deck, I would connect it to the Five of Diamonds. The Five of Diamonds is basically, it can be a crisis, but that crisis can be an opportunity for change. And also number five is connected to the planet Jupiter, which is the planet of joy. For me, Lemon Chrysopras, aka Magnesite, just takes all the right boxes for being associated with the Five of Diamonds card. Because the five is very Jupiterian, it's a very Jupiterian number and it invokes this joyful, prosperous and healing energy all the qualities that jupiter has and of course diamonds bring the concreteness okay guys so this was my introduction to you for crystals if you're interested in more crystal videos let me know in the comments below and um, i really think that this Chrysopras is the stone for 2021, if we were to choose one. Okay, guys, I'll see you again soon with more videos. Bye!